Let us look at how the temperature and rainfall are affected by the various factors. First, let us look at the temperature. As we know, North America is located in the Northern Hemisphere and it extends from the tropics to the polar region. Here we can see the Tropic of Cancer and here we can see the Arctic Circle. So above this, till the topic of till the polar regions is North America. The part of the mainland Canada here in this region and some island lies inside the Arctic Circle. And are cold throughout the year with a very short and mild summer which means throughout the year the temperature here is very cold as well as the very short summer that it has is very has very slight warmth whereas the southern half of Mexico and the Central America lies south of the Tropic of Cancer and these places are warmer. Now why do you think these places are warmer? Can you give a guess? Okay, think for 10 seconds. Okay, I hope everyone was thinking about this question. Why do you think this area, the southern half of Mexico and the Central America are warm? Okay, popcorn, anyone? Though I might not be able to see you, but your friends will be able to hear you. So can you share the answer to your friends? Okay, class captain can select the volunteers. All right, I hope you have uh, discussed, you have shared your answers and now let us see why is it. It is because they are near to the equator. This area is near to the equator, unlike the tundra of uh, Europe, unlike the tundra of Europe, which is very far for, away from the equator and this makes it very cold, this area the southern half of Mexico and the Central America which lies towards the south of Tropic of Cancer this area are closer to the the equator hence they are warm however however the vast central lowland in the mid altitude the places in the middle in the center here in the central lowland these places are deprived of the oceanic influence due to the high lands on either side the high the western highlands blocks the pacific influence and the eastern highlands blocks the atlantic influence hence the region in the middle this the central lowlands are deprived of the oceanic influence and also the central lowland comes under the influence of cold polar winds in the winter in winter the winds blows from the cold polar regions towards the central regions and hence it experiences a very cold weather whereas in summer the hot wind blows from south southern regions towards this land and makes this the temperature in summer very hot hence experiencing the extremes of temperature in winter and in summer 
while learning about Europe in the maritime climate, we have learned that the warm ocean current influences the temperature. Similarly, the ocean currents are another factor which causes difference in temperature between the eastern and the western coast, coastal areas here. The cold lavender current, here we have, in this region we have lavender plateau and the cold lavender current washes the northeastern coast of North America, hence making these places cold. Whereas the warm Alaska current washes the northwestern coast. The ocean current means the wave of the water. When the water is heated and when the water is warm, the current it brings is the warm ocean current. And if the oceans are very cold, the water is cold, it brings the cold ocean current. Now during winter, the slant Lawrence seaway becomes frozen due to the cold lavender current. Whereas the harbor of the Venacor and the mouth of the river Fraser and the snake remains open. Now if you look closer here, this is Vancouver Island, the green one. Here we have river Fraser and the river snake. So during winter, when the St. Lawrence seaways are frozen, this area still remains open. It is not frozen. It is due to the difference in ocean current. Here we have the warm Alaska current affecting this. Hence, they do not become frigid. Whereas, whereas in this area, St. Lawrence area, it is affected by the cold lavender current. Hence, during winter, this area get frigid, frozen with ice. Let us look at the rainfall distribution pattern of North America. The rainfall distribution pattern of North America is greatly influenced by its north-south direction of mountains and the direction of its prevailing winds. When you see in this map, we see that the eastern half of this continent receives much more rain than the western half. Now let's look at the key here. This area receives 100 to 150 centimeter of rainfall and even more in this region here. Now, in this area, the north east trade winds blows from North Atlantic Oceans and the Caribbean Sea. Thus, this area receives rain throughout the year and even much heavier rain during the summer seasons. If you look at the northwestern part of this continent, it is influenced by the westerly winds and it receives rains throughout the year again. But due to the high mountains here, the rain are not able to cross these mountains. Hence, much of this rain is shaded in this, the windward side of this mountain. And in the slopes of this windward side of this mountain, in this slope, it is recorded about 200 centimeter of rainfall. Whereas in the leeward, the other side, it becomes a rain shadow and hence much main part of mainland part of Canada and USA receives very less rainfall, just about 20 to 25 to 50 centimeter of rainfall in a year. Now on the extreme north of this continent, here in this area, the region that we can see just a plain white color and the Great Basin in this area and the Colorado Plateau. This area we can see all white, which means the rainfall here is below 25 centimeter. 
We can also see in this that this area receives the monsoon wind. That means the monsoon wind is not only in Asia, not only in Bhutan, but even in America, the monsoon wind affects this area. I believe that you have got this exploring geography with you and I would like you to refer this book as a reference. This book has the similar topics, the similar contents as of Artemis people. But here, if you read this, you'll get a little bit extra knowledge. Here it seems that there's more, more explanation than the Artemis people. Thank you.